You're listening to the Daily Nugget, dnugget.com, for March 18th. Uh, I was just informed, because we don't really keep track of this very well, but awesome producer Sam does that. We're past our 50th episode already? We are. I know. This might be our oh, 50th episode. Now that there we go. Oh, I think it is. We're wow. halfway to 100, and you want to get to 100 because then you can become syndicated. That's what I always learned from the TV shows. Oh, interesting. I don't know. Throw it in there. Yeah, it in this there. is our 50th episode. Awesome. We're gonna be Yay, hooray, hooray. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, Janelle. <laughs> we <Wow>. made it. <laughs> Crowns in heaven? Uh, made Crowns in heaven. For this? There are rewards somewhere. I just don't Crowns know. Crowns made out of nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would take those. I would yeah. take those. It would seem, it would seem appropriate to talk about nuggets on Food Monday on episode 50, but no, alas, we are not. Because. We are not. Unpredictable is our middle name. Mm-hmm. I'm Andy. Andy Unpredictable you said That's Sam. <laughs> that is your name. Jen is laughing. Jen, you look like, for our audio listeners, you're missing out because it looks like Jen is using a generic Zoom background. It does. <laughs> it looks like it's just a, a hotel kitchen. Background. Yeah. Or, you're about, or you're about to None uh, of this is real. To, teach us how to cook something on YouTube. <laughs> 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 and Janelle is in a padded booth. Which is I am. Sense. Yes. yes. Thank you, Janelle, for coming. <laughs> I left my yeah. straight jacket out there. So. But did you oh, take your meds? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> you may not need them if you do. Uh, if you check this out. So Food Monday, a U.S. scientist has brewed up a storm by offering Britain advice on making tea. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, he says he's. He says he knows the key to a perfect cup of tea. Now. Jen looks As, like she enjoys a tea from time to time. Sure. <laughs> and I don't know what that means, but okay. Just, and you've you've part you've you've partaken in the herbs and spices. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And partook. <laughs> it's delicious. You should try it. Yeah, chai tea is my favorite. Okay. Mm. That's not mm. really okay. tea. That's I more mean, than tea. You know, depends on how you make it. Okay. Did well. I ever tell you about the time? Oh, gosh. Oh, here we go. When I had. <laughs> We're off the rails already. <laughs> a half a suitcase full of African tea one time on a mission trip. And I was ridiculed severely for my. um, What do you mean? I, I don't know how to say it, except they thought I was hoarding it, but I really wasn't. It was an economic Mumbling? decision. And <laughs> <laughs> smuggling that's what they call it, it was, no it wasn't smuggling it was legit it was real Rui Boss tea and <laughs> we lost andy oh, no, i'm here is. no i mean i'm sorry well i just had to make sure that the nsa was not listening to this conversation <laughs> and uh, that lakeshore management was available for Ed. <laughs> janelle, yes. uh, janelle you i hate to say it, you were may you may still be a drug mule <laughs> A no. Mule. No, a no, no. Well, did you? S- That's not oregano. I do have a reputation <laughs> of being a mule, but nothing drug like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Well, I no. mean, okay. Are you I stubborn? explain that in full in my first book, Grace for Your Waste, okay. Living a Lifestyle Fitted with Hope. And I wasn't not, I wasn't a drug mule then but i was the cheeto mule it was just really their snack mule and it really was a disappointing uh traumatic event in my life at five so anyway all that to say <laughs> back to the tea wait well, hold on hold on we you <laughs> were like a we cheeto mule the derailment a little early uh, you were a <laughs> cheeto mule at age five yes <laughs> and you're just gonna leave it at that spot. you're not gonna explain yeah. this to us well, I can if you want me to, or you could just read the first chapter of my book, whatever's, you know, it might be easier to do that, but okay. Is there an audio yeah. version? <laughs> yes, in, there is, is there, as a matter of fact. Movie? I narrated it myself. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> so let's just pretend, just okay. for the sake of, you know, for funsies, just just, just pretend like you're reading that chapter to us right now in real time. <laughs> Well, it's several pages. It might extend the nugget time, but okay. I'll try to Paraphrase. give you a quick, us before. a quick synopsis of what <laughs> truly happened. Okay, so my family was on vacation in Arizona at my mom's sister's house, and we had cousins we were playing with, right? My older sister, four years older than I, 
was really looking forward to being there to do their thing. You know, the girl cousins get together. Well, this time they went behind a closed door. I, being five, didn't understand why they wanted to be away from me. So I pestered them. Knock, 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 knock. And they wouldn't let me in. I can't imagine that. (laughs) I just wanted to be there. I could have sat (laughs) quietly in the corner. I wouldn't have made a sound and just like, you know, absorbed all of their big girl fun anyway. That didn't work out so well. And so I was ignored. And then my sister, who I thought was trying to be inclusive, really was exclusive when she shoved this play purse out the door and she demanded that I go get the Cheetos out of the kitchen. Now, the Cheetos were forbidden territory for us because they were way on top of the refrigerator in a glass jar. Wait, wait, wait. You guys kept your Cheetos in a glass jar? My grandmother did for some odd reason. I have no idea, but it was off limits. Everybody knew that. So my sister demands I go get them. And I'm saying, yes, this is my chance to prove my worth. And so I sneak out the door up the on top of the table to the top of the refrigerator, get the purse loaded with Cheetos. And I'm saying, oh did it i tiptoe back i did this all without my mother knowing I and mean, she's just like, like talking in the other room and so i i they opened the door and i slid the purse in i thought this was going to be my peace offering but instead <laughs> she yanked it back so fast and i the door slammed in my face and i was just so heartbroken <laughs> i didn't even taste the cheetos for myself they the only thing that story was missing was were... the soundtrack for Mission Impossible, which we don't get the rights to, so I can just do it. Bum, 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 bum. And then at the end, the song from Titanic. <laughs> when she was left outside the door. Go on. <laughs> go on. You know, that's the thing. And so it was like, it was a traumatic thing because I went then and told my mother, you know, bah, 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 bah. so uh, yeah, I was a big tattletale, but they deserved what they got. I don't even know. <laughs> what did they And you get? didn't get in trouble? I didn't get in trouble. No, I just oh. cried a lot. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, I didn't get any Cheetos either. I'm curious as to how stale those Cheetos were. <laughs> well, I don't know. If I they were kept in a glass jar. Cannot speak to that. But anyway, it was it was a very traumatic thing for a five year old. I'm just saying. Name of this episode: Janelle the Cheeto Mule. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's so, much more interesting than the actual uh, uh, <laughs> article, as usual. Usually it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's real life, baby. What can I say? Well, one thing's for sure. Episodes of this show get better and better whenever we hear Janelle say, I have a story about that. Uh-huh. Mule. Did I ever tell you the story? <laughs> uh, uh, tell no. You about... And there's probably a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No so Cheetos were harmed in this telling of the story either. So. Not even when they closed the door on you? No, it hurt my arm. I can remember that. It was very painful. <laughs> this Janelle's, was okay. Janelle's first memory. <laughs> Core memory. <laughs> Pretty sad. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, well, you guys heard it first. I, have, I haven't told that story to very many people. We didn't hear it first. It was in your book. Well, I mean, besides that, I mean, besides, I mean, like people outside my family, you know, I did tell the story. I don't know who's read it. They probably think I'm all ridiculous now, but you know, who cares? Have your sisters read the book, heard the audio book, and have Mm -hmm. they come up with their own version of the story? No, Uh, to my knowledge. No, I don't think she's read the book. Uh -uh. How does that make you feel? The only people that know rejected are us once again, <laughs> and everyone that bought the bestseller. I'm surprised that Janelle isn't sponsored by Cheetos. <laughs> That's yeah, the, a great beginner. idea. I should approach them. <laughs> Cheetos. I don't eat them, but I will mule them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do anything for pay. <laughs> Careful. 
Not anything. <laughs> not anything. Yeah. All right. I do draw the line on something. No, no, no that's the nugget. Not We're not even getting into the story. It's in the link. <laughs> Look at it. No. Oh. We got to stop. We got to stop Janelle. She's. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to bring back putting Cheetos in glass jars? <laughs> <laughs>